um, back here on my Turbo Blog app. Uh, if you watched the last episode, I showed you how I built this app, which is a basic Turbo iOS app. But in this episode, I redid the scaffold, but with some Tailwind styling, so it looks a little bit nicer. Should have done this in the last episode, but that's all right. So this episode's all gonna be about adding a native tab bar at the bottom of the screen. And with that, we're gonna be able to go to the home page. So whenever we go into here, we can just click the little home button here. And then we can also have a link to upload a new post. And then eventually, if we add users, we can have a profile link and maybe a chat link too. So to add this, it's really gonna all be about the Xcode code. We're gonna have to do a little bit of native code, but it's not too bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the view controller and inside of here, we're gonna create a variable called tab bar. Now this is gonna be a UI tab bar. Oops. And to get this to work, we're gonna need to import WebKit at the top. No such module WebKit. Oh, I forgot to capitalize the K. There we go. So now after this comment that says, do any additional setup, we're, we can actually remove this because we're going to do our setup here. Okay, start off with the buttons for the tab bar. We're going to create our first one. We can call it item home. This is going to be UI tab bar item. Title home. And then we're going to set the image. I'm going to use UI image. System name. This is actually going to be dot home and then tag this is going to be something that we can use to determine which button was clicked so this one will be zero you can think about it as an index and for this ui image how i'm getting this is actually there's a, there's a software that i use called sf symbols so it looks like home wasn't correct but you can download this and then any of these icons you can use in your swift app and I'm pretty sure there's a search so i'm going to search up a home so yeah, it looks like house. So what you can do is you can right click, copy, I think copy name. And okay, I think it's just dot house. That was right. Is that right? Oh no, it needs to be a string. So it would be house and then in any options like house dot fill. So maybe you have to copy the symbol for that. Let's try to copy symbol. Oh no, that's not right. How do you get it? So you just copy name, I think. But maybe you just have to pass it in as a string. So actually we're we haven't initialized it yet, so if we restart the app, we're not gonna see any difference. So to get this set up, we can set the tab bar. So under here. We can set the items and for right now we only have the home button and then we also need to set the position of it so we can set the frame equals cg rect x0 y is going to be self dot view dot frame dot height minus 81 this is just something that i found looked right you can mess with that but this is just positioning the tab bar. You might need more space depending on your icons and how big you want them. And then the height is 240. And underneath, we can set the default selected item, which would be item home. Which right now, that's the only item. But we'll, we can create another item right now. So let's do an item uh, new post. title can be new post and then right here we need a, like a new icon so let's look for one of those maybe create so maybe something like this would be cool like a plus circle or we can just do a plus so let's copy that symbol and then put that oh wait 
It's copy the name. That's what it is. So the name is just plus. And then we have to update this tag to be one so we can know the difference between these two when they're clicked. So yeah, this is perfect. The other thing we need to do is actually to go back into the scene delegate. So we come back here into scene delegate. And then right here in the scene function, underneath here, we can set the navigation controller tab bar delegate is equal to self. Let's do this before we push the controller. I don't know if that matters. Okay, wait, UI navigation controller has no member tab bar. So is the navigation controller, oh, so the UI navigation controller is actually still using that so what we need to do is we need to replace this with our view controller and i'm also pretty sure we need to go back to the view controller instead of inheriting from a ui view controller we inherit from a ui navigation controller which that's defined by turbo so we need to def we need to import turbo now if we run it we should actually see the tab bar it looks like we're getting error though Cannot assign type scene delegate. Interesting. Oh, okay. We need to add UI tab bar delegate right here, of course. So it inherits from a UI tab bar delegate. And then we're good to go. So actually, I don't see it here because I think we forgot something. Okay, we definitely forgot something over here in the web view controller, or whoops, the view controller. So we set the positioning, but we never added it to the view. So we need to say self.view to add subview, and then that subview is gonna be the tab bar, and that's gonna do it. So here we go, we have this nice looking tab bar section where we have a home and then we have a new post. So right now when we click it, nothing happens, but I'm pretty happy that it shows up and looking pretty nice. So what we can do to fix this is we need to set that handler. So we can go back into the scene delegate. And now at the bottom, we're gonna do another extension, scene delegate, but this is gonna be for the UI tab bar delegate. Inside of here, we're gonna have a tab bar function where we have these different params. We don't really need to mess with that. But what we're gonna do is we're going to have a case statement where we can decide what happens based on which button was clicked. So let's get that click tag from the item.tag. And then below this, we can do a switch the click tag will have a case zero so when that item with the zero with the zero index is clicked which would be the home button we can go to the home so to do that we would just visit you know the home route now this doesn't work of course because we need to just pass in a URL that's an actual URL course so right here we have this why don't we set this into a variable called base URL we can define that at the top so base URL is equal to our local host and now we can just visit we actually need to do URL 
basically the same thing that we're doing up here. So why don't we just extract that into a function to make it a bit easier for us. Just do self.home. And then we'll have a home function. So let's do it not as a private one. Yep, this should work fine. So now let's see what are we missing here. So we have a case statement. It looks like it needs to be exhaustive, which means we need to check for all the options. We're already going to do that because on option two, we're going to visit So it's going to be the base URL, but we're also going to add slash post slash new. So we go to the new post path. We might want to change this to like new post path, and then we can define that up here. Okay, we need to set the string argument. Oh, and then we have to do a bang. That's what they're saying. Switch must be exhaustive. I think we also need to say a default. You know, we can add a little comment, handle any other cases. And then we have to break out of it. And there we go. A redundant conformance of scene delegate to protocol UI tab bar delegate. I think what that means is that up here, we don't have to inherit from this anymore since we did it there. Oh, we can't do this. Okay, that's fine. So instead of that, we'll just do this down here. That's fine. And then let's rerun the server and we'll see what we get. So now we have this and I want to test out the home button. Yep, it works. So can we do a new post? Yep, it works. So this is pretty awesome. So already we have a custom tab bar that works in our app. We can use it to navigate around if we ever need to go back to home or we want to create a new post. And then eventually once we add in users, we can add in those other links that would be helpful here. So this is a really simple video just showing you how you can further enhance your Turbo iOS app by adding a tab bar, which is a native piece. And really you can use the same sort of idea with modifying the code to add other native pieces in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, comment down below any ideas for future videos or anything that you're curious about with Turbo or Rails or these iOS apps. I'm really excited about the new strata release that just came out i want to create lots of content about that so i'm very excited to be creating these videos learning more about it and then trying to share with other people so that you guys can learn more about doing it and hopefully get inspired to create your own apps well thanks for tuning in watching the video see you guys in the next episode